please give a warm welcome to the stage to Zev Nadich. Shalom. Shalom. Which I've discovered is Hebrew for please hold. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I've been asked to keep it short, which is fine because I have to get this beer back to the rental agency before 11, otherwise I lose my deposit. I um, still a little out of breath. I just came back from Jedi night practice. <laughs> Um, I live in Nakhlaot, but I don't get invited out to eat a lot because I'm allergic to non-bleached flour <laughs> and cannabis products. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get a funny reaction from the latter. I break out into song. <laughs> I, um, I was in Tel Aviv at the beach, and I was in one of those beach chairs, and I was really relaxing. And this guy comes up to me and he said, uh, you can't sit in this chair. So I, I don't want any trouble. I said, no problem, sir. Just bring me one that I can sit in. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, when people come up to me and insist that I look familiar, finally I'm just like, yes, of course. I did all the voices for Toy Story 2. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go to the hotel. And right before I start davening, turn to people and say, um, which way is Mizrach? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I wanted to save some time, so I took the Shabbos stairs. <laughs> but I forgot that on the way down, they stop at every step. <laughs> I studied, I studied air guitar for a while. <laughs> But I only learned the major scales. So there's still a lot of solos I can't play. <laughs> One time, I went to my friend's house. And his two-year-old daughter came up to me and she said, You're a poopy. And, and you wear diapers. And I couldn't believe it. I said, have you been reading my diary? <laughs> How do you know so much about me? When it comes to my clothing, I don't like to use the word clash. I prefer to say that each of the items individually vie for the viewer's attention. <laughs> if I had identical twins, then on the first day of school, I would tell the teacher that one of them was adopted and she needs to be very sensitive to that. <laughs> I, um, you know those applications for the iPhone? Those apps, I'm writing an app. It's for people who are unemployed. It's called a job app, vacation. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing some writing lately. I was working on a romance novel, but I realized it would require way too much research. <laughs> Why are you applauding? So I switched to historical fiction instead. <laughs> I'm also doing a, a, a special needs self-help language book. It's called The Complete Idiot Savant's Guide to French for Dummies. <laughs> and then one more about uh, a love affair with a French vodka. Fifty Shades of Grey Goose. <laughs> yeah, I hope no men laugh at that. I was in uh, I was in Mayor Sharam last week, putting a down payment on a summer home, I'm getting inspiration for my perm costume. I'm going to be a herring vendor again. No one got my Brahms costume last year, so I um I tried signing up for these uh, for some dating sites. But all I got was, saw you at Sinai, wasn't that impressed, dot com. 
and then someone sent me, sent me an application for J Dump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you don't think this is going anywhere, just click the dislike button on my profile. I saw this I saw this nature documentary that was set to music. It was kind of this musical documentary. I must have seen this thing like eight times and I still can't figure out what does the fox say? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't make any sense. Like, wiki, wiki, wiki. That's not what the fox says. I'll tell you what the fox says. He says, how come so I need such a big bushy tail for balance? I'm not that far off the ground in the first place. <laughs> and he says, how come everybody just thinks I'm a wolf in drag? <laughs> But this is what the fox really says. He says, jumping over a lazy dog never works in real life. <laughs> I don't care how quick or brown you are. <laughs> As a child, I was, I was uh, far more coordinated than my peers. And by coordinated, I mean color coordinated. That was my lead in to turn the page. I was outside smoking, and someone came up to me and asked me if I had an extra cigarette. None of them are extra. It's not like when I bought them, I said, 20 in the pack? What am I going to do with all the extra ones? They say, that, they say that America has an obesity problem, but I think that's the wrong perspective. They need to say that Americans are winning the war on hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Young Kipper this year fell out on a Shabbos. Totally shot my weekend. When I go to shake a rabbi's hand, I like to lean in and whisper, Could we go somewhere private? <laughs> when people speak Hebrew around me, I kind of want to know what they're saying, but I don't want to go to Opan. I'd rather just be. By curious lingual. <laughs> I'm tired of crying myself to sleep at work. <laughs> I work in the kitchen <laughs> at a yeshiva for guys who only want to eat foods that end in hamburger. <laughs> What do all shapes and sizes come in? It's on the paper, I had to read it. <laughs> you see this shirt? It's polio. I'm the Jonas Sock of fashion. Thank you, guys. <laughs> when I wear a bow tie, it's like I'm saying, I want to wear a tie, but I don't want anyone to know. <laughs> I don't have time to iron, so I wash my clothes with anti-aging cream. <laughs> <laughs> because it helps remove wrinkles. <laughs> when I see a tree that I like, I won't tell it right away. An acid reflex and a flashback are not the same thing. For most people, a walk in the park means that something is easy, but for others, it's a parole violation. <laughs> I'm going to have to get going. I have a big day tomorrow. I'm auditioning for a shampoo commercial. <laughs> it's for guys like me, called Face and Shoulders. Thank you very much. You guys have been a great crowd.